Bobby, why don't you tell me about this rifle you just talked me into buying? I, I hadn't planned on buying four today. Well, uh, you know, we had a great selection of rifles today, so you had a number of rifles to pick with. Uh, but this is a really nice uh, uh, Springfield, uh, one, 1 1.5 million in May of 43 production on the receiver. Uh, it's got uh, uh, some really pretty wood on it. It's not dinged up too bad either. Not dinged up too bad. It's clean. It's 80 years old. And uh, it has a uh, uh, Rock Island Arsenal stamp on it somewhere. I lost yeah, it. Over it. On this side, yeah, then there was a P-proof yep. proof mark down there on the bottom that, of the that's pistol right. grip. And so that's the uh, the plain V. So it was uh, uh, a rebuild rebuild stock, and uh, the trigger the trigger guard is a uh, Winchester. You see the WRA there on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that's really that's really pretty, uh, and it looks like the. Uh, the metal to me has been together for a long time. And there's a, a time. there's a little anchor right up here. Yep. And Rob was telling me he said that's a, a, a Danish uh, uh, navy. Yeah. So plate over the uh, sight mechanism. That's right. The uh, the the rear sight cover uh, the Danes uh, engraved uh, the last four and an anchor uh, on on the plate there, which was kind of cool. Uh, and uh, so, you know, they built a lot of barrels for us. Yeah. And uh, and for themselves. And this happens to have a Marlin barrel on it. And uh, uh, most of the Marlin barrels that were produced were uh, uh, rebuild barrels. Mm -hmm. uh, so. And I noticed that one too. One of the reasons I bought it, it's got a, a one and a zero on the gauge on the uh, muzzle and the throat, which that's another thing that made it stand out to me. So, well, it's going it's like a brand new barrel. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I bought two, well, three other expert grades with the new Criterion barrel, and they're just they're zero. So that thing is just that's barely broke in good. So you know, uh, uh, it's got the the hand guards uh, appear to be birch. I'm not, I don't want to say here because I'm not, I'm not completely sure what type wood this is. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this, uh, this looks great. It's still got the original finish on it. Yeah, uh, got that nice so patina to it. it it's, it's, it's a got, beautiful rifle. No, that was the, one of the other ones that had the tiger striping in the wood down there. That's right. Yeah, there's no tiger striping, but but uh, there's the uh, and, that Danish mark. If you want to show that, Dave? And I hadn't planned on buying anything service grade today, but I'm, I'm glad you talked me into that one because that's the nicest service grade rifle y'all had in there. Uh, it, it's been a good day. Uh, it's been a real good day. And uh, so I, I'm glad you got to pick out a nice rifle. And uh, May of 43 was, uh, was right in the middle of the war. And, yeah. Uh, so you've got a really nice piece here. Well, and, uh, that one's going to be a shooter along with my other two M1s and 30 out six. We'll see how it stacks up against that Criterion barrel. I bet it's going to be real close. Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Yeah. But uh, I guess I I, I, I kind of go neutral on, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, you have it's, to. it's still a war barrel, and yeah. they, they were trying to put them out as fast as they could. But uh, you know, a lot of them, uh, irregardless of the numbers on it, uh, you know, they, they'll just be a tack driver, and then. And then the next one that you think is going to be the tack driver is not. So yeah. I, I don't know. It's uh, 
I feel this one though. This one's going to be the attack driver. I feel the spirit in it. It's, it's, it's moving. It's going to be an attack driver. Yeah, it's moving. <laughs> so. All um, right. Well, I appreciate your help today, Bobby, in uh, selecting this and all your knowledge and everything you guys at the CFP are doing. And, uh, you know, every way that we can support you. Like I said, I'm going to put this up on my YouTube and we'll tag you in it. And, yeah. Uh, hope that helps you guys as much as it helps us. But, uh, Anyway, hope to see you at the next competition, and, you know, you guys know my saying, X's win matches, keep the greasy side down, catch you next time.